So welcome back guys to this week's project on Beach Bum Living where on this week's project I'm going to show you how to turn that into that. So this week's project is a neat little wood desk that I picked up in a, a yard sale. And it's got a nice little simple design to it. Kind of a classic older look. But as far as the idea that I have for refinishing it this week, I plan on using two different coats of paint. Sand away some of the top coat to expose some of the, the under color and the wood. And as far as what colors I plan on using, I have like this sky blue that looks really neat. And kind of like this creamy creamyish tannish color that I'm gonna to try to use but as far as techniques and how I'm gonna paint it and stuff like that I don't really know I'm gonna kind of fill it out as I go and I might even try some different techniques that I've never tried before so We'll see how it turns out, you know, if I don't like certain parts of it, I might just paint over it a different color or try it a different way. But that's the kind of the idea, even though it's not really an idea for this week's project. But I'm going to use two different coats of paint. I know that. And as far as which gets painted as the top coat or undercoat, I don't really know yet. So join me and we'll see what happens. I mean, I think this project will turn out really cool. Okay, so I'm ready to get started on this project and as you can see I went ahead and laid out everything I'm going to initially need to get started. I have my power sander out because the first thing I'm going to want to do is sand the whole entire piece. I have my little screwdriver out for taking the hardware off. I went ahead and pre-cut my sandpaper to fit the power sander. I have a 150 grit and a 60 grit. I also have my sanding block for those hard to reach sections. I went ahead and got all my brushes out. My favorite brand is Purdy Brand. And you can buy this pack of three from the hardware store and it's, and it's basically like buying two get one free and it comes with a big two inch an angled inch and a half and a little angled one inch so to get me started i'm going to use primer so i finished all the initial sanding and i mentioned earlier that i plan on priming it next but I've actually decided that I'm going to try skipping that step and just go straight to painting the colors on there because I was going to paint the blue after I primed it and then I was going to finish it off with like this creamy white and then sand away some of the white to expose the blue but I'm going to try skipping the primer and go straight to the colors and I'm going to see how that turns out. So keep in mind when you're doing these undercolors that are going to be painted over with the top color, you by no means have to be perfect when you're painting these. I know like a lot of times you've gotten used to painting furniture and it needing to be perfect and stuff like that. But when you're painting an undercolor and then you're going to paint over it and then sand away and it's already going to be or it's already going to have that old look. You do not have to worry about, you know, getting these paint lines in the same direction. Your main goal is just to get this paint on there. Okay, so I've gotten the coat of blue paint on. And the next thing I was going to do was paint over it with this kind of like creamy tannish white color. And I initially planned on just painting the whole thing like I normally would and then sand away. But I've had the idea that I'm going to try it. I've never done it before, but I'm going to put a little bit of this color in this container and then water it down to the point where when I paint it on here I want it to have that color over it but almost to the point where it's kind of transparent where the blue will still be seen but it's going to be tinted with that color and I'm going to try it I've never done it before and we'll, we'll see how it turns out
so I've gotten this kind of creamy tannish color finished and as you can see what I was talking about with it being watered down you can you can really see how I streaked it on and the blue really still shows through which I think overall it looks pretty cool but I'm I'm not really sure if I'm feeling this kind of tan color over the whole entire desk so what I think I've decided to do is to use that undercolor that's the blue water it down and kind of paint these big sections that blue color like this top of the desk the front of the drawer and like the sides of the desk and then I'm gonna see how that turns out Okay, so all the painting's done. Next thing I want to do is start sanding away. I got this 60 grit and a 150 grit, and I got my power sander out. Let's go ahead and get going. It's starting to look pretty cool. You can see how I'd covered it with that kind of tannish color, and with sanding away, the blue starts to come up. But after painting it blue and having sanded some of these other sections like the legs and this little bit of this face right here I kind of like the way it looks just like it is that being all this the perfect blue without it being sanded down because it looks neat with the the blue starting to come through on the sides because all I did with this was just lightly sand it and, the, and then the light blue starts coming through and then of course a coarser sandpaper took it all the way down to the wood but I think it looks neat just like it is, so I think I'm going to leave it. And all I did was lightly sand it with a 150 grit sandpaper, and it starts bringing that blue forward. And then I used a 60 grit to do to get it all the way down to the wood. And then all I did was just take a small piece and kind of go down these edges, and it took it off really quick. But it just brought it all the way down to the bare wood. So I got two things left to do. I'm going to put a glaze on it. By just using a rag, I'm going to rub in some of the glaze, wipe away some of it that I don't want on there. It's just going to give it like an older, darker look, especially on the parts, some of the parts where I've sanded it down and some of the wood's exposed. So after the glaze dries, clear coat time. Just to seal things up, protect it, and keep it looking the way I want it to look for years to come. So I'm going to put a clear coat on it. So I got glaze clear coat then I'm done with this project so here we go
So I hope you guys like this week's project. And remember, if you have any comments or questions, just leave them down in the section below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel because I plan on doing these projects weekly. And I just want you guys to better tune in and get tips and ideas on maybe some of the projects you would like to do around your house. Or even if you just want to tune in and just watch my projects and see how they turn out. That's cool. But I appreciate you guys checking out the channel. I appreciate you guys leaving comments. And I will see you guys next week.